The 2005 Live from Studio A Holiday Jam is underwritten by Pepsi Bottling Group, Michael Baker Engineering Corporation, and the Engineer Society of Western Pennsylvania. WQED Multimedia presents the 2005 Live from Studio A Holiday Jam, featuring Corbin Hanner. They were both on their way. Scott Lord Anderson. On some other day. We hold this happy morn. Lord the Madrigals. Joe Zellick. Angels did say. Who mourns in lonely exile here. Pete Hewlett. Mystic Nights. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. Azukar. I want to wish you Merry Christmas. The Gamelon Ensemble. A Merry Little Christmas. Lisa Blyle. This is part of the stream. Carol Lee Espy. A special appearance by Bob Corbin and Pete Hewlett. The king is born early tonight. And the it's Poverty Neck Hillbillies. <laughs> with your host, Pete Hewlett, kicking things off with some jingle bells. Now here's Corbin Hanner with a nice laid back version of Santa Claus is back in town. Well, it's Christmas time, pretty baby. 
sleigh with reindeer. No sack on my back. Gonna see me coming in a big black Cadillac. It's Christmas time, pretty baby. See the snow falling on the ground. Uh -huh. Turn out the light. Yeah. Santa Claus is coming down your chimney tonight. It's Christmas time, pretty baby. See the snow falling on the ground. Zucar in Spanish means sugar. And you can never get enough of this sugar. Here's a Zucar with Feliz Navidad. Pero a 
Here's Lisa Blau with Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be yourself a merry little Christmas make the yuletide gay from now on our troubles will be miles away together if the fates allow hang a shining star upon the highest bound have yourself The next song we'd like to do for you is a traditional Christmas piece 
arranged by my good friend John D'Amico. It's called O Come, O Come Emmanuel. Until the Son of God appears, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to And close the door to me is a
until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. Next up, we have a band who's been entertaining Pittsburgh audiences for 20 years. Here are the Mystic Knights with Merry Christmas, Baby. About a half past three Left all these pretty presents Well, I 
haven't had a drink this morning, but I'm all lit up like a Christmas tree. Hi everybody, we're the Joe Zellick Band and we'll be performing the first Noel for you tonight. Noel, 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 Noel. The watching the 2005 live from Studio A Holiday Jam. Still to come, the Poverty Neck Hillbillies. Mrs. Claus will surely please. They were both on their way, knowing they'd be. Scott Anderson. Part of Carol Lee Espy. Still my heart beats on in this race. of joy to the world. A special appearance by Bob Corbin and Pete Hewlett. And now, the Gamelon Ensemble. This is the University of Pittsburgh Gamelon Ensemble playing musical instruments from West Java, Indonesia. 
and we're playing a traditional Hanukkah song called Maotsur for gamelan, baroque flute, and tabla. Next, we'd like to feature our musical director, Scott Anderson, with the story of Snoopy and the Red Baron. <laughs> the news had come out in the First World War. The bloody Red Baron was at it once more. The Allied command ignored all of its men and called on Snoopy to do it again. Twas the night before Christmas and 40 below.
Snoopy went up in search of his foe. He spied the Red Baron, and fiercely they fought. With ice on his wings, he knew he'd be caught. And reach for the trigger to pull it up tight. Why he didn't shoot, we'll never know. Or was it the bells in the village below? Christmas bells, those Christmas bells. fly to the right and forced him to land behind the enemy lines Snoopy was certain that this was the end when the Baron cried out Merry Christmas my friend the Baron then offered a holiday toast and Snoopy our hero saluted his host then with the roar they were both on their way knowing they'd be on some other We're going to take a moment to introduce this fantastic live from Studio A band. On the keyboards, our musical director, Mr. Scott Anderson. On the drums, Joe Waslowski. On keyboards and saxophone and clarinet, Eric DeFade. On the bass guitar and upright bass, Brian Stahersky. On the guitar, Dave Brown. And on vocals, Lisa Blau. And a whole slew of other guests, including this man here, Bob Corbin. Bob. We've known each other for years, Pittsburgh, Nashville, New York, but we've never performed together. You know, we haven't, Pete, but uh, let's do one tonight uh, that I wrote for the Oak Ridge Boys called The King Is Born. Great. To you this night a king is born. He is the promised one. God so loved the world, he sends down his only son. Rich men, poor men, wise men, thief, he will deliver all from trouble and
Here's Carol Lee Espy debuting her brand new song, Waiting in Bethlehem. Wake from sleep, the tender it is. Time won't keep this moment of bliss. I've seen the signs, starlight. Now, an old English medley from the Madrigals. Luli, Luli, the little tiny child. Bye, bye, Luli, Luli. Oh, sisters, too, how may we do for to preserve?
Christmas bells are ringing, caroling, caroling through the snow. Christmas bells are ringing, joyous voices sweet and clear. Sing the sad of heart to cheer. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling near and far, Christmas bells are ringing. Following, following yonder star, Christmas bells are ringing. Sing we all this happy morn, lo, the King of Heaven is born. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Early tonight. All right, here they are, the Poverty Neck Hillbillies with Let's Be Naughty. We've had a wonderful time tonight. We wish you a happy holiday. We're just going to take things out with a beautiful song called O Come All Ye Faithful. Happy holidays. Okay. 
To order a copy of the 2005 Holiday Jam CD or the related 2002 Holiday Jam CD, call 1-800-274-1307 or visit shopwqed at wqed.org. My favorite thing about Christmas these days is seeing all the decorations going through and looking at, at everybody's houses, the lights, the decorations. It was always a big deal in our house growing up. My father would go to great lengths to decorate the house for Christmas. Going downtown where the homeless were and May I had to give my presents to them in person, and that is the memory that I cherish the most, sharing with those that really, really, really need it. Actually, I think this year, Christmas uh, 2005, is going to be a special one to remember because uh, the kids, uh, my twins, they celebrate their birthday December 18th, right around Christmas. And, they just won a contest in school for music first and second place. My son wants a drum set this year and I think uh, Santa Claus is going to come through. I got my first two-wheeler and we had just enough bare spot on the road for me to ride it and I had to ride it. So I rode my two-wheeler and went way down this hill and on the way back up I was pushing my brand new two-wheeler up the hill. I just kind of laid my face on the handlebars as I was pushing it up the hill. And when I got up to the top of the hill, I realized my lips had frozen to the handlebars. And so I cried all the way <laughs> into the driveway. We always go home to visit my grandparents, which is on the coast in Myrtle Beach. And that year, for whatever reason, we got eight inches of snow and it's extremely rare for South Carolina to get snow. But I remember, uh, through the good grace of God, my parents were able to drive through all that snow and make it down to the beach, and it was an amazing Christmas. I've been bothering my dad to get me a, an electric bass guitar for about six months, and he said, yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. And uh, it came on Christmas Day, I opened it up, it's a brand new shiny bass guitar. I just took that, plugged it in the amplifier, and I didn't come out of there for four hours. I didn't know how to play it, I didn't know how to tune it, but it didn't matter. One of my favorite Christmas memories growing up was going to midnight mass and then coming home. And my mom would always have cheese and crackers and cookies and eggnog. And not too fond of eggnog anymore, but um, and then we'd listen to Nat King Cole, and it still holds a warm place in my heart. Mine isn't quite that uh, heartwarming. We actually, uh, a couple Christmases ago, had adopted a dog just to foster for a couple weeks. He was supposed to be housebroken, and uh, apparently he wasn't because he came in the living room, and his first official act was to douse the town of Bethlehem from about 10 feet away in the living room. The 2005 Live from Studio A Holiday Jam is underwritten by Pepsi Bottling Group, Michael Baker Engineering Corporation, and the Engineer Society of Western Pennsylvania.